Okay, so I'm a little bit nervous right now. I'm about to call Kristen, my realtor, back, who I sent $100,000 about three months uh, ballpark for a real estate investment. She said she would send me $120,000 back, um, which is coming due here in about 15 days or 20 days. So I have not heard anything about this real estate investment or any update whatsoever. I'm gonna give her a call and see how it goes. <laughs> I just bought this dilapidated house on the other side of the country for $80,000 without ever seeing it. And over the next four months, my team and I are going to invest $100,000 in renovations and we intend to sell the home for $270,000, which should bring a healthy profit of about $90,000. I'll show you how bad it looks on the inside in just a moment, but I'm not doing any of the work and if everything goes right, I'll never even see this home in person. This is my very first real estate investment home. It's a fixer-upper house I teamed up with two other people on. My real estate agent, Kristen, who really I barely even know, and a supposed great contractor who I've never even talked to yet. Each of the three of us have our own unique role in this investment home. Kristen is the real estate expert who found the property and identified this home as a good investment opportunity. The contractor was able to come in and see the property in person and find everything wrong with it, and give an estimated cost to complete the renovation along with the time frame to get it all done. In this real estate investment, I'm the investor providing a portion of the funds to purchase the home quickly and secure the project before someone else can swoop in and buy it. Basically, I'm a hard money lender using the profits from a recent sale of my own home to reinvest into another real estate deal. Basically, I just picked up a phone call from Kristen one day and she ran the numbers by me. She said this home was worth every bit of $80,000, so we'd pay cash for it and invest $100,000 in repairs. And based on her experience in the area, she believes we could sell it for $270,000. And when you see the inside pictures of this home in just a moment, you'll see why we need to spend $100,000 to get this home into selling condition. <laughs> All right, I'm like legitimately nervous because I've never done anything like this before. Oh, she's calling. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, you know, just peachy. Came fresh. Yeah. Going and going. Nice. So, um, so I wanted to give you a call. Um, obviously we're we're starting to like get finishes done and everything on the Talbot house, and you guys are coming in so you're gonna see it sometime soon, right? Yeah. That... Coming at the end of the month, like the twenty seventh or something. Yeah, we fly into Chicago on the 27th and then uh, we'll be down in India at some point. So we're headed to Indianapolis right now to see some real estate investment properties for the first time. And to pick apples. And to pick apples. So, I mean, yeah, it'd be awesome to actually get in there and see the house and see the uh, progress. I'm actually driving past it right now. You're oh, okay. gonna be really excited about it. By the time you get here, we should be like, we should be like mm, mm, putting in finishes. Okay, that's so. awesome to hear because, <laughs> I mean, I literally haven't even talked to you since I sent you the money. So. I know. Well, and I'm like, well, I've talked to Sabrina a couple times. We've done all the electric, all the plumbing, all the HVAC, we're through dr insulation, through drywall. Like we're putting in flooring and cabinets. Okay. Like, awesome. Yeah, we're. That's not the case at all. Awesome. Um, so, no, that's really good. But I wanted to kind of gauge where you were at with um, any interest in additional investments at all. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely interested in doing more. When Kristen called me, I thought she was simply calling to give an update on our investment property. However, this call took a complete different twist than I was expecting when she invited me to join her on a second investment property. In just a moment, we'll get back on track and I'll give you a full tour of our current investment property. But let me show you the raw footage of our investment call about this additional investment property before we get into the actual footage of the current investment property. I've really kind of been thinking about that ever since this first one. I was like, why aren't we doing more of these? Well, I mean, you know, I didn't really kind of know where you're at with it. And Eric and I, are, like, so I just, I got an opportunity for um, a property in Fountain Square that is actually going to have to be, the house is going to have to be torn down. There's there's no fix of it. There's no saving it. It's done. Okay. Um, so we're, we're, we're talking about, buying it, tearing it down, and doing a new build in Fountain Square, because obviously, like, that's, you know, a huge opportunity. Um, so if you look it up online, it's 
currently listed, I think, at like one thirty, but I've got the seller down to seventy two thousand. Okay. Um, on it, which is insane. Like you can't buy a lot for that much money there. Um. So what was the address again? <laughs> This is so the you see how it's like got a nice little tilt to it? Yeah, I do. So, um, <laughs> this is a traditional piece of crap that we buy. And this one, I mean, I, I have yet to buy a house that's actually literally leaning over, but it's real fun when you walk inside because, like, you just walk in and it's like walking out. So, Eric and I were talking about, because right now, like, our, we've, we've got a money, we, we would just buy it, but we've got our money kind of tied up. Okay. So we, I asked him and talked to him about if we brought you in and did thirds on it, because um, it's gonna be it's gonna be like a two hundred and um, it's gonna be a two hundred and twenty five thousand dollar bid uh, build. And so what I was talking about is if we brought you in and we covered we each brought in a hundred thousand and you brought in a hundred thousand that would cover the purchase and the thing and then whatever and then we'll do all the work and when we sell it we'll split it out in thirds. Okay. So basically, I would just, after this one is done, send you or like kind of reinvest the money here or like how soon would you need it? Well, if we made the offer on it, I'd make the offer on it and they, the seller wants to close like as quickly as possible. So it would just kind of be like talking about what you're comfortable with. So what Kristen is saying here is before we finish our first investment property, which I haven't even seen yet in person, she's asking me if I want to go in on a second deal and send her another $100,000 before I ever see any of my money back from the first investment. Okay. Um, awesome. So like what, what would like the payout on that one be for the investment? So if we were, so we'd be, um, We'd be max three hundred thousand in, and we'd be four fifty out. So um, after cost of sale, we'd be about a hundred and twenty thousand. Would be kind of where we're at. So okay. one hundred and twenty thousand um, split three ways. Okay. So like four forty thousand. Mm-hmm. And how long would this one take to do? Because it's a complete teardown. It's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be a teardown, and so it's gonna be like five or six months. Okay. Um, I definitely so, sound like... But it's a huge difference between, like, taking a percentage home over four months as opposed to, like, actually being a part of the ownership and having equal stake in the property. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I would be down to do that. I don't see why yeah. not. The one you got going on here, like, my first one's going pretty good, so, I mean... Yeah, I, like, you should get your payout back on that within... within 45 to 60 days will be you'll be getting payoff okay all right cool okay so that one should sell very very fast okay Uh, and it is beautiful i can't wait for i'm actually super excited you guys are going to be in town i'm going to be able to show it to you yeah i'm pretty pumped about it too so long story short i decided to team up with her and eric on another investment deal before getting any of my money back from the original investment deal that we started and i'm going to give you a full tour of that house because it is the creepiest place i have ever seen in my life and basically they're going to tear it down and we're going to build a brand new house on the lot there's an axe on the ground so let's get back on track and i'll show you our original investment property and then in a separate video i'll show you our second investment property all right well apparently that was an update on the previous property and also i apparently am going to be doing another real estate deal here um so that's exciting and a little nerve-wracking because i literally just don't uh fully understand what i'm getting myself into here but like literally what she's saying is like forty thousand dollars in like five or six months this last one was like a hundred thousand or it was like twenty thousand dollars profit over the course of about three or four months four months give or take so this one will take a little bit longer but the profit sounds like it should be quite a bit more so we'll find out is this the one or not yeah this is ours oh this is ours okay like this is the first time i've ever even seen it yeah nice so you guys bought this one in july right all the plumbing and all the electric. Yeah. Um, ran completely new HVAC systems through. 
Okay. So we basically, um, originally the plan was that we weren't going to take down as much of the drywall. We were just, you were, we were going to try to like patch the new into the old. But okay. the house we did right before this, we had such a problem with that we just decided to really pretty much take almost everything out. Okay. So, um, so you can see where the, the difference is. This is the very first time I'm seeing my first real estate investment property in person. Basically, Kristen just gives me a tour of the property and she shows me the ceilings. They've replaced the popcorn looking ceilings. You can see that they took out some old doorways and made room to put in new kitchen cabinets there against the wall. And she kind of just explains to me all of the things that they're doing here. You can see they also put in brand new windows throughout the house and the master bedroom is directly to the left where you walk in and the doorways are really tall the doorways are um, I believe eight feet tall and the ceilings are ten feet tall in this house unfortunately I couldn't use Kristen's voice explaining this because there was music playing in the background that would get this video likely a copyright infringement right here she's showing me the flooring that they're going to be putting down in the house which it looks like this when it's finished this is just another house that they showed me down the street that they're remodeling basically it's a very similar layout as the one that i'm investing with them on and then she shows me the uh, master bedroom closet and master bedroom bathroom which they are starting to put in some finishes okay and then you'll walk through the you'll walk through the back so is custom tile, so they're working on that right ah, now. Ah, okay, okay, nice. I like the tile choice. Thank you. So then there will be a double vanity right here. Where? Right here. Okay. And then the toilet will be right there. All right, so van double vanity mm -hmm. right there. So it'll be a 60 inch vanity. Got it. So. And the toilet. toilet will be right there. Yeah. Okay. So. And then there will be a pocket door. So. Nice. It's kind of like your hidden bathroom. To give you a better idea of what the bathroom's going to look like when it's done, you can look at this investment property that they just finished up down the street. This house has very similar bones and they're going to do very similar finishes in my investment property. So this is just kind of an example of what their work looks like when it's done. This will be your kitchen. We'll be right here and kitchen island will be right here. Oh here. yeah, okay. So. And then this will kind of be like your main living space area. So. Nice. So you'll have living space on each side, kind of like a little bit of separation. Open, open floor plan, yeah, totally open. big island here. Mm -hmm. So this will be the back side of the island. Okay. Um, so the cabinets will come out this way. So there will be Legos. Okay, got it. And Eric is like famous for his shiplap back, so there will be shiplap back. Yeah. Nice. You and your shiplap, man. So it'll be a total of three, three bathrooms. bathrooms. Two and a half baths. Okay. What'd you guys buy this one for? I don't remember. <laughs> you guys do so many properties, you can't even remember. 75, 80? 80. 80. 80? 80. 82. 82, five. Okay. And you said you're planning on selling in like two. Well, this one will be like $2.99. 2 dollars thing. So, how far do you think this is from being completed? Three and they're done with my drywall money, but they tell me they're gonna be Monday or Tuesday, about three and a half weeks. Yeah. Wow. So the things that take the longest are like the permitting and then doing all the electric work, doing all the plumbing. So even though it doesn't look like there's like a lot to do, everything else is just kind of installing stuff. Yeah. So it goes super fast. Got it. Yeah, it 
to me like it looks like and this will take me an eternity personally well see and we already have all the stuff so we've already picked right. out the vanities we've already picked out all the tile we've already picked out all of the lights it's all sitting in the office yeah, yeah it's all sitting in his office it's just like, it's it's all... yeah yeah for sure yeah. the fun part starts yeah yeah are right, those like 10 foot ceilings yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that was the cool part about this it's it yeah. so massive when you walk in yeah, I, I like the bones of this house. This is, I think we all like love this house. Yeah, like it's got a lot of windows. So, so you guys did. The old do it around or? Did you guys put new windows in? Yes, mm -hmm. new yeah. windows and everything. So you guys, you said you did all new HVAC in here and yeah. all new plumbing as well. All new plumbing, oh, wow. all new electrical, HVAC, all new. Yeah. Where do you think that you'll be like? Uh, cost wise, in like uh, after everything, oh, no. and probably be like right around 105. 105, nice. Yeah, so we want, oh, yeah, for only five grand over budget. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's well, the spray bottle. Yeah, yeah the spray bottle. <laughs> yeah, that's spray bottle. It was right around $4,700 after yeah. we had our insulator. Yeah. They take all of this, all of this, let you are we talking about this ridiculousness down? I like it. <laughs> what? This light. Oh, yeah. Man, I want this swing right there. I want to see this with the swing. Right there. Looks like the perfect spot. Oh. Well, either. Yeah, I know, right there. Either, bad. really. I good. love this. Like, this. Be the best. Yeah. We didn't even touch this. That's how it was. Oh, nice. Are you guys planning on doing anything with like the? Uh, yeah, he'll he'll skip he'll get a concrete guy out there and skim coat over it. Okay. So, trying to think. Uh, so fifteen. Oh, so this guy right here. This one uh, sold for three twenty-five. Okay. So. That one looks really nice. Yeah, and there there's one like right down here that's sold for uh, three oh nine or something. I don't know this neighborhood at all. I've never been over here before. Um, we're definitely at the beginning stages of it. Yep. It's a good sized lot. We're not building a garage, but we're putting a parking pad. So oh, that's shoot. Like, that's <laughs> what it's you didn't know what spray foam is? No, like what we like, have into it is his house, that's all. What, what, I, I mean, I know what, what spray foam house. is, but. Oh. What happened to it? They, they had to redo it. <laughs> It kept growing. It kept expanding. <laughs> like the universe. Oh, sorry, Sabrina era. <laughs> I assume. Yeah. These had gone down at like an angle, so we took them over here. Um, they'll get retreaded. Yeah. <laughs> Smell plus the steepness of the stairs. The stairs, and like they're not being like a, a handrail. Well, so here's what's really cool is what we're building right here is a custom collapsible. Um, railing. So we're building something that will be able to fold down and fold down so that if you need to bring like mattresses nice. or furniture up here you can actually get it up. Oh, yeah. that's so good thinking. These are the things that Eric and I think about like, you know, it's how is like somebody get a mattress up here? Like, so this will be one better. Okay. okay. He does a really good job. Um, Eric and I right now are looking at partner and ones that are also starting to collect stuff so they can do our own. So now I'm just gonna give you a credit card and tell you to go back and Is this a bedroom here? Yeah, this okay. is a bedroom. Okay. So, so two we have to do this it. because you have to have an egress window in each Oh, bedroom. okay. So there was no way for us to get a, be a window in with the shape of this otherwise. And we've gone back and forth, back and forth about doing two bedrooms downstairs and a bath or do it like, and it just, this is so much space that it did not make sense for this to be like a master suite. It's, it would be, I mean, this is, this alone is 1,200 square feet. Like, could you imagine having a 1,200 square foot like master suite? Like, people live, 
people put families of four or twelve hundred square feet. Exactly. So, so it's gonna be like a great like kids room, like two kids like the same age, like you have like a play area. Mm -hmm. So this will be set, the tile in here will be the subway tile, and then that black will be our accent. So. Nice. Which you'll also see when we go to Union. A lot of the things that finishes, the reason why I want to go to Union is you're going to see what our vanities look like, what our lights look like, what our, like all the fixtures look yeah, like. Yeah, I'm excited so, to see that. So, because I'm doubting you'll be back here before this is done. Probably not. When will this will be done? Three, three, four weeks. The thing that takes the longest with all of this is the electric, the drywall, or the electric plumbing and HVAC. So that's all done. We have finished the insulation and the, the um, city city changed the guides for insulation and so now anything that you have any ceiling you have that touches the roof line has to be spray foam so we had like already done it all and then had to go back and take it out and spray foam mm -hmm. which sucks and it's super yeah. expensive can we make sure that you don't die falling down whoa Matt almost died do you see they had a monster living here oh that's wow. crazy isn't it dog going crazy before I forget to mention it, don't forget to click subscribe to see future updates on these real estate investments. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will get back to you. This is where things are with my current real estate investments. My initial investment was a straightforward $20,000 hard money lending deal where basically I just sent the money and they invest it as they see fit. The project is running a little bit behind. Our contract says it should have already been repaid by now but it's taking a little bit longer than expected. They ran into some issues with the insulation where they had to remove insulation they already installed and then use spray foam due to a new particular rule, but they had never done spray foam before and ran into an issue where the spray foam kept expanding and they had to redo it all, which took more time and money than planned. Don't quote me on any of that about the insulation. I just know there were some technical issues with it and I may provide a text update in the description box below this video if I misexplained it or if I get any further clarity on this. It is a bit nerve wracking having so much money invested into a home and it being my very first investment and it's running behind schedule, but I have full confidence in my partners Kristen and Eric to get the job done beautifully and seeing my money back soon enough. Kristen is going to send me a full breakdown on how much everything costs to do on this renovation and the project should be done soon. When it is done, I'll post another video showing the completed house and how much everything individually costs to do and how much the home sells for along with other fees. And I have a lot more content coming on our second investment property. This home is the creepiest place I've ever been in and the inside looks like something out of a horror film. We teamed up on this second property with a different structure where instead of me lending money and just getting a set amount in return, we are all actually equal partners on the project and when the home sells, we will split up the profits equally. So there's not a set amount of time and there is not a guaranteed amount of money for anybody to make. It's all a bit nerve wracking and I'm completely new to these sort of real estate investments, but I have confidence in my partners and their ability to keep on doing what they've been doing for quite a while now. So be sure to subscribe to see future updates on how things pan out for these investment homes and my future investment properties. And please click like if you enjoyed this video. Also, please consider sharing this video with a friend on social media if you think they would enjoy it too. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below this video and feel free to check the description box for any additional links relevant to this video. And if you're interested in buying, selling, or renovating either your own home or an investment property, I have a link in the description box below where you can get a hold of me and I can connect you with some of the best people in the business to help get you what you want. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.